Hi guys, it's Diana. I'll be reviewing the Canon PowerShot ELPH350HS camera. So it has the Wi-Fi certified and the NFC, so you connect it to your phone or whatnot. It has 25 millimeters wide times 12 the zoom. The Digic 4 Plus, which is faster camera operation, etc. Like rich detailed images, noise reduction, 20.2 megapixels, high sensitivity. Um, the LCD screen is 7.5 centimeters to 3 inches. HS system and also 1080 full HD. Now flipping on towards the other side, it says HDMI, so it does not include the HDMI cable. And if you do have it, you could hook it up to your TV, your computer, anything. Now opening the box like this. So as you're opening, you should see the Getting Started Guidebook. And if you don't have this, you should return it because it's no good. It should also come with the one year warranty slip. So keep this in a safe place just so that you can get a new camera or whatnot. So let's see what else is in this. Um, let's pull the charger out. So every camera should come with a charger, obviously, because how are you going to charge your camera? So just the basic, you know, you put it into the wall outlet and then put the battery in and let it charge. So if you know the battery is full, the full light would light up. So thanks for not forgetting about this, Canon. Um, next we have the string, and we already know how the string is. And don't forget the battery. I would suggest buying extra batteries for your camera when you're on the go. So Amazon, eBay, any other stores, you can price match so it's cheaper. That would be good. In and out, in and out, like that. Uh, the string. So you know the basic string, how it goes. Strap the string onto the camera. Make sure you put it into your hand so you don't lose it. Knowing me, I would lose it. On towards the camera. Finally, right? I know. Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. Like, it's such a good handheld camera. The front looks nice. Everything is so shiny. You know, the basic. It's like, wow, look at the screen. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Alright, so the speaker is literally on the side here. Um, this is the battery area so this is where you put your battery and your memory card so you know what I think I'm just gonna put my battery in right here slide this in oh my goodness I'm struggling right now all right there you go and of course it does not come with memory so I have my old one I'm just gonna put this in like that Closing this up, and I'm now going to show you the HDMI area. So the big one is the audio video input, and the smaller one is the HDMI. So you just got to connect that towards your TV or computer, and you will be fine. So let's close that up so it's secured. Um, let's turn this on. Power on. So let's try the zoom out here. So that's right over there and the camera's right there. It's pretty good and pretty fast on the speed of optical zoom. Um, here are the basics I'm going to show you. Well, I'm sure you guys already know, you know, the camera and then the multiple shots and the auto stuff. So here are the basic, you get the flash, the stabilization, the mode, and display function stuff. So let's go to menu, and we'll see what's in here. So I'm just going to scroll down for you. And if you want to adjust stuff, then that's good. All the settings, the volume, if you want to mute the clicker and stuff like that, then go for it. I guess by this time you already know how the camera works because it's pretty easy to function and all. And yeah. So this is the video and I'm speaking from the back. And it's pretty well. 
camera is not so bad. Uh, let's see how far this zoom to that green box there. Pretty good. Now let's see the front. All right, so this is the front. Testing the mic out. Um, I heard some other reviews that it works well in the front and the back is not well. So this is the front. I don't know what to say, so we'll cut it short here.